I've built several 5F1 circuits, and I figured I'd make a video uh, to clarify some possible misunderstandings you might have on the wiring diagram. And I have two wiring diagrams here. I have one from uh, Weber, from Weber's speakers, Ted Weber. Um, and then also I have one from Mojo Tone. And I believe Mojo Tone's probably the, this layout's probably more accurate to the original, but uh, both of them are the same circuit and just arranged differently and I believe that's probably for copyright uh, copyright issues um, okay so these possible misunderstandings you might have is um, there's these three big triangles right here and those are ground all the triangles are ground except for these triangles that say fill so you have um, these two triangles and this says to all fills so there would be these wires go to here and that's powering the pilot light the light bulb and then they come over here to these spot this spot and it says fill fill and then it goes over here to these other fills fill fill these two are connected so you actually have three fills there uh, and I'd suggest twisting that wire uh, because if you twist it then um, it'll eliminate hum which is what they have in the mojo tone schematic they have it twisted um, and what other problems might you have let's see uh, in the output transformer there's these two wires and then it shows it looks like a connection there it's kind of confusing uh, the red wire goes here and then the blue wire goes here to uh, terminal 3 on the 6v6 tube um, yeah and all these other triangles are ground these little triangles ground 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 uh, right here ground um, this is another possible misunderstanding uh, on the transformer I have I have this shows only two wires but I have three I have a black one a green one and a yellow one and I believe the green was uh, I think the green was 4 ohms and the yellow was 8 ohms uh, you might want to double check that so the black one will go to ground you can just you don't have to bring this all the way over here you can put the black one anywhere grounded on the chassis or you can bring it up here that's fine and um, this jacks automatically grounded a jack like this uh, this part is grounded and it's connected to this part right here and power goes from here to here so it's uh, all connected so so yeah that's ground so if you connect the ground here it will be grounded to chat the chassis and then the this other wire goes to the positive but then you have a third wire so where do you put that um, the third wire will um, I guess the only option really is a switch and uh, well before I get into that you also have this wire the 22k coming from the 22k resistor and this goes to positive okay so you got that goes to positive and you got the y yellow or green one going to positive if you don't want the extra jack the extra option of the 4 ohm or 8 ohm you just ditch that wire you um, put a piece of heat shrink on it so it doesn't ground out to anything whatever you do do not connect the green and yellow wire or it'll short out the transformer um, so if you have a switch which is what I did you um, you get the first you connect this to the positive and then you have another wire coming out to the middle of the switch and then uh, on one side of the switch you have the green and the other side you have the positive so that's how you would do that um let me try to think are there any other thing oh and that's another thing with the uh mojo tone schematic it, their kit comes with this weird uh, connector for the speaker and it's like like the connection i forget what they're called but the ones that the audio cables in the old vcrs or like really old speakers and I guess that's what the original 5F1 had, like Fender, when they came out. 
Um, but if you wanted to put something like this, more con modern and conventional, you know, um, you could put that. And it's confusing because it shows these two wires going to this. And it's like, okay, which one's positive and which one's negative? Like I said before, this is only really grounded. So only this is positive. Both wires go to the positive side. You got this, what I think it was a 22K resistor going to positive. And you can't see the transformer. The transformer's behind this. There's a wire coming out of that grommet and it's going to positive. So the, both of those are positive. And, um, and they don't even hook a negative wire up there because it's only already grounded to, to the chassis. So this, this wire is ground. You wouldn't even have to hook up a wire there. And then this wire is positive. So you just hook up a wire to the positive. But make sure that you ground the wire coming out of the transformer. Unless, I don't remember their transformer. Maybe it's only already grounded. So maybe when you bolt the transformer up, it's grounded to the chassis. I don't know, but the this Weber one comes with the uh, ground wire. Um, you know, I'm trying to think, are there any other problems you guys might have? Hmm. Um, that's all that I can think of right now. But hopefully this video will help you um, get an, give you an idea of, uh, well, hopefully it'll help you with any possible problems you have. Okay. Uh, good luck guys.